Hey everybody, the Gaming Guru 51 here, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword Blind. In the last episode, we prepare for the upcoming adventure ahead. We bought ourselves a purple potion, which heals our shield and gives us some hearts. And not only that, we also got a shield to go along with it. In this episode, we are finally going to run. We're going to jump off the cliff, and we're going to press the down button. We're going to call our Skyloft, our Skyloft. We're going to call our Loftwing, excuse me. And we are finally going to head on to the green portal light thing over here. So it's about time. We finally move on from Skyloft and head to a new area. And not only that, as you guys could have seen like a few seconds ago, off screen, I did manage to get rid of the interface. So that's fun. Master Link, observe. The green pillar before you is a column of light. It marks the point at which you can descend to the surface. You can confirm your current location on the map. Please see where you are in relation to Skyloft. Alright, let's go ahead and do that. We are here and that's the thing we're going to. That's fine. It appears that you will be able to reach the surface by passing through the portal in the clouds at the column's base. Thank you for that, Fi. I do appreciate that. So, let's head on down. Because we are the next contestant on The Price is Right, except no, we're not. Again, I do not like the way this controls uh, the loft wing. It feels very similar to the Mario Galaxy 2 bird sections, like those two levels where you fly the bird. And I never liked those sections either in that game, so... <laughs> As you guys can probably tell, I probably don't... I probably won't really like this one either. I mean, we haven't really gone on the, the loft wing that much, but hopefully not... Hopefully it doesn't happen very often, but anyways, I'm talking nonsense here. Now, let's see here. Where the heck are we? Oh! Gotta deploy that sailcloth so we don't fall into our doom. Where the heck are we, though? Master Link, we've arrived. This is the fabled surface that has long been part of Skyloft legend. By my calculations, you are currently positioned in a location known as the Sealed Grounds. Okay. And the game's gonna tell me that we're at the Sealed Grounds. That's fine. Man, the game's gonna give me everything because now we have a map to go with it. That's pretty cool. Looks like a big map to me. Holy crap, alright. Thank you. Please proceed with caution, Miss Mr. Master. <laughs> alright, so first of all, what the heck is this thing? Is this anything important? It doesn't look to be. Alright. So now we can press down. Oh, what the heck are you? Target lock, Deku Baba. This violent plant is widespread in wooded areas. It will attempt to bite anything that approaches it. Though it's covered in a tough outer husk, the inside of its mouth is soft. I have confirmed the existence of two varieties, those that open their mouths vertically and those that open them horizontally. Okay, so that's fun. So pressing down with that calls Phi, and we can get locks get ourselves uh, locked on the enemy so oh wow that's pretty weird so the ones that open vertically are the ones that get sliced um, wait the ones that open the mouth horizontally get sliced vertically and those that get hit vertically open get hit horizontally that makes sense thank you for that Phi because now we know that they have an outer thing, like an outer thing, so we can't really touch them. Which is pretty cool. And what the heck? heck is going on? I 
I have no idea. I love this game cinematics. I think they're fantastic. Alright, so we have an area here. We can might as well go on and explore a little bit here. So what the heck is this? Is this a door? Master, I have information to report. While these doors appear to have been opened recently, they are now sealed shut by a powerful and unidentified force. Alright, so I guess there's no way we can really open them at this time, so I guess the only way we can go is we could go upward. We could also go downward, but I think I want to try going this way first. Because there's so much stuff over here. Um, doesn't appear to be anything over here, though, so... Might as well just continue on the perimeter, I guess, of this and see if there's anything around. But that's just going to lead us all the way back up to the top again, probably, right? Eh! If I need to take the upper path, I will do that. But I want to see what's down here first, because this looks like this is where we need to go. And there's a hole here. Okay, I thought there was going to be an enemy there. I guess not, though. I guess the game's going to make a lighter out of me. Anything in the grass? Like some rupees or anything like that? No? This is going to give us these uh, green things so we can regenerate our uh, stamina. So we can just keep on running for ages and not have to worry about stopping at all, which is freaking awesome. And I probably want to spin attack on here to make sure we get everything we can. No rupees left behind. Or whatever. Is there anything here anyway? It doesn't look to be, so... Alright. Well, I should probably get that. There we go. Alright, let's continue on trucking on through here. There's really nothing here, huh? You think there would be, but there's not. Oh, yeah, that got me tired for sure. All right, what's this way? Wanna run up here? There's nothing up here, huh? Jeez. I feel like these areas are gonna be important for later, but there doesn't seem to be anything of importance at this moment. It's kind of sad. Uh, let's see here. Don't want to deplete my meter because I want to keep on running. So how's everybody doing today? Uh, I apologize for the lack of an episode yesterday. Um, I was just really tired because I work full time at work. I work about 40 to 45 hours a week and I just haven't had the time to record anything when I got home from work. So just been trucking on through here. Nothing really too exciting. I was just really tired yesterday so I didn't want a chance recording because I was... I fell asleep pretty early last night anyway. So, it wouldn't have been exciting if I was recording while I was tired, because that would be a bad time. There's really nothing here besides walking. Do you think there'd be some enemies to fight or anything? But it's just a nice, casual walk. I mean, I'm not too upset about that, but I wish I was doing more, you know? I mean, I guess if I can complain about something, that would be it. Alright, we're almost at the bottom, so that's good. So hopefully something big happens here. Like this thing young one. Child of destiny descended from the sky. Raise the sword of the goddess skyward. Take aim at the evil aura and unleash its power. Oh boy, this sounds bad. But if the game wants me to do that, who am I to judge? Let's do it. is this? Master Link, I'm sensing a change in the area that was triggered by your Skyward Strike. I have also detected an aura that correlates closer to your Sailcloth. I surmise this aura belongs to Zelda. I can lead you in the direction of this area through a process known as dowsing. Would you like me to explain this process? Yes, please! As you wish, Master. Dowsing is when I detect the presence of, of the aura of something you wish to search from using the tip of the sword. The nearer you are to an object emitting the aura in question, the stronger the response will be. 
This response manifests itself through vibration and sound. The direction of the object emitting the aura is indicated by the purple pointer you see. Okay. Hold down C and select Zelda as your dowsing target, then point in the direction you wish to search. So let's do this, right? And then I douse. Okay. So what exactly is that mean? Is there nothing I can like douse from this? This isn't... What is exactly am I doing with this now? Do I just continue walking and then dowsing and seeing if I'm... Oh! I got something! Wait, I got something! Didn't I? Is it up this way? What? Hold on, I'm so confused. Where exactly is this taking me? Do am I supposed to go somewhere with this? Hmm. Let me turn around here. It's telling me to go upward, or is it telling me to go in that direction? I have no idea. We're just gonna continue going upward and seeing if we can figure out where we're supposed to go. Cause I'm not exactly sure. Why? <laughs> That's a weird mechanic to have. Let's try now. See if anything happens. It seems to be pointing at the door up top. I guess that's where we're going. If that's the case, we're going to the door. I could show me walking all the way back up, but that would be really obnoxious. I'll see you guys in just a moment when we reach the door. Especially since I got myself worn out. See you guys in just a moment. Alright, I'm pretty close to the door. Now, let's see. Yeah, that's definitely where the game is telling me to go. But why would it make me go all the way down just to go all the way back up again? That's kind of crazy. But, that seems to be the area. So, what does that mean, though? Do I just go on through now? I'm honestly confused on why the door just opened. Was it... Was what? I'm so confused. Is this a dungeon? The sealed temple. This honestly looks like a dungeon, but I'm not exactly sure. This really does look like a dungeon. What the heck? Ah, the traveler descended from the clouds above. I welcome you, child of fate. Tell me, what is your name? Link? Ah, Link. Good, very good. I sense you have already gained control over the sacred power that fills your sword when pointed skyward. The skyward strike is yours to command. It is proof that you are fit to bear the blade you carry, the goddess sword. I have sat here for many years waiting for you to arrive, all so that I could fulfill my prom my purpose as your guide. You stand under the roof of the sealed temple, a place built by the goddess an eternity ago. Your arrival here was predest predest predestined many, many years ago. The spirit maiden you seek arrived here shortly before you, descending to this land in a shower of light. There's no doubting it, the gears of fate have begun to turn. Yet all is not as it should be. The spirit maiden was not meant to reach this land in the manner she did. I feel an evil power working in the shadows. It moves to warp the destiny of y which you two are a part. Link. You are concerned for the spirit maiden and seek her whereabouts, yes? That is understandable, but for now you must focus on moving forward. The girl has her own purpose she must pursue, as do you. She set out for Faron Woods to discover the destiny for herself, and you must follow. Show me your map. 
the X upon your map marks the path that will lead you to Faron Woods. You will be traveling in an unfamiliar land. Many monsters have settled here, and a map may not prove guidance enough for your journey. And so I will give you the power to create beacons. When a beacon is marked on your map, a column of light will stand at that location. It will act as your wayward from afar. Point out the X and press C to place a beacon. Press C. There you go. Ah. Though you cannot see it from where we are, a beacon stands outside to guide you. Leave the temple through the front doors and see for yourself. When you no longer have a use for a beacon, you can remove it from your map by pressing C. Use your beacons well and you will never fear getting lost. Go now. You must head into Faron Woods and chase after the Spirit Maiden, the one you call Zelda. On your way out, take the contents of the treasure chest within this room. What you find there should prove useful to you on your journey. Is that the door with the treasure chest? You are ready. Leave through the door before you and head into the woods. I wish you safe travel. Know that all the questions you have now will be answered in time. For now, Link, go bravely. Alright. Well, thank you, good sir. I appreciate the assistance. The door that leads to Farron Woods is open now. Leave through the door to my left and head for the woods. All the questions you have now will be answered in time. Okay, we've already done, talked about that. Sorry, I kind of lost track for a second. Is this where I'm supposed to go? That is not where I'm supposed to go. Where is that treasure chest he pointed at? He mentioned there was a treasure chest. Is it through this door? This is not where I'm supposed to go, right? Well, there's that beacon that I created. That's a nice thing to see. Alright, I don't think I want to do this yet. Um, I think I'm going to wait until the next episode to see it, or to take care of what we're going to do here, but I'm... He said there's a treasure chest that I didn't get, right? Where is that treasure chest? Uh, I didn't quite see it. Did I miss it? Is it through that door? Where is that treasure chest? Is it through here? No. I'm confused. Alright, it's probably where that guy was, or out that door, so... Oh no, it's this one right here, isn't it? Ooh, we got some revitalizing potion. This potion fully replenishes your shield gauge for, and also restores four hearts. Alright. So that's fun and dandy. So, I think with that said, you guys, I'm gonna end this episode off here. I apologize for it getting kind of... weird. <laughs> well, I guess next time on Skyward Sword Blind... We're going to head through that door once more and head out to the Faron Woods. Though I have heard of the name Faron Woods before. Hmm, some questions I now have in my head. I wonder what that means. So, with that being said, thank you guys so very much for watching. And I will see you guys next time for some more Skyward Sword Blind. See you guys then.